Welcome back to The Daily Rundown with me, Dan Morfitt, and my guests, Ashley Talbot and Kate McCabe. Actress and comedian Leslie Jones has quit Twitter this week after hundreds of racist tweets were sent to her account. The actress stars in the new remake of the Ghostbusters film. The film received negative reactions from some fans for having an all-female cast. An editor at Breitbart, a conservative news website, has also had his account suspended following reports that he was orchestrating the abuse towards her. Many other accounts that have tweeted abuse at Jones have still not been banned though. In a statement, Twitter said they are continuing to invest in improving enforcement systems to prevent this kind of abuse. The question is though, why should anyone have to put up with this nowadays? Well, they shouldn't, and I think Twitter did the right thing. Uh, mm. I think, I'm not sure how to pronounce his surname, but it's Milo, I think, Yanopoulos? Yeah. Yanagopoulos, yeah. Okay, well, he... Me, Milo, Milo, Nero. Yeah, ne at Nero was mm. his Twitter handle. Um, I think he's arguing a freedom of, spe of speech point, and that is such a moot point. He does have freedom of speech. Twitter is private enterprise, which conservatives are very protective of. They say that private enterprise should have their own rights. They should be able to handle things in whatever way that they want to. They should be able to deny cake to gay people if they want to. That's their whole platform. Deny cake? <laughs> you know when like bakeries are like, they oh, don't yeah. want to do your wedding cake, blah, blah, blah. Oh, in Northern Ireland, yeah. I remember yeah, that. so like that's their bag, right? So when he has a private enterprise block him for disobeying their bullying policies, he has no leg to stand on. He's mm. was warned three times. Yeah, and the defense that he comes out with, well, uh, you, you're trampling on my freedom of speech. And it's like, okay, so if the best argument that you've got for the thing that you've just said, the statement that you're trying to defend, if your best argument is that it's not literally illegal to express it, <laughs> if that's the only thing that you can say, well, I can, it's, it's freedom of speech. It's not- When did freedom of speech like, become freedom to offend? Well, Free, freedom to orchestrate uh, an abusive, uh, racist. Mis Did you see the tweets that were sent to Leslie Jones? They're awful. There was mm. some absolutely atrocious stuff in there, and it's like, and it's from the tweets that this. Can we not just give him a, a, a name, some sort of, you know, rather than calling him any of the Twitter handles or his actual master name. troll? Uh, master because troll. Because he was saying no, like that. He sort of went against the trolls, going, mm -hmm. "Well, I'm an anti-troll, so how can I be trolling?" Mm. Uh, it's the argument is ridiculous against. Uh, a really, really superb actress. She's she's known in America for being on Saturday Night Live. Works really hard for a career. Was the the, the oldest cast member of Saturday Night Live. So mm. she only really got, I think, cast on the show uh, into her early forties. And she got cast into the show because of a massive racism storm with Saturday Night Live in itself. Mm -hmm. Because they had virtually yeah, she no had been writing characters. Yeah. Um, on the Ghostbusters thing, it's all getting rather silly now. This is a film. Yes. And <clears throat> having racist, misogynistic remarks well, that's, concentrated I mean, onto one person is stupid. That, but that's what you get when men have their precious masculinity offended. Because that's, that's essentially <laughs> it. It's all these guys, right? And they are guys who are like, oh, the Ghostbusters cast, it's all female. It's ruining my childhood. It's like, really? If that, if, you know, if that film, if a film is ruining your life, you're doing your life wrong, mate. Seriously. Ruining your childhood would be unlocking some deep, dark thing in the back exactly. of your psyche. Not, not necessarily a, yeah. a film. Not a remake of a film which is going to start, you know, it has an all-female cast and is undoubtedly inspiring a legions of young people, be Aww, they I love the angry. reaction from kids, from women, you know, and that's who this movie is for. It's for kids, first of all. And yeah. then secondly, it's, it's, you know, for the women that haven't had the opportunity to have a, a movie about four Science butt kickers. Science models, yeah. And it's getting decent reviews. It's not as if mm. it's the world's worst yeah. film ever. In fact, the last, and this isn't a spoiler, by the way. This spoils nothing. The Don't last, spoil it for me. The last line in the movie is, well, that wasn't so terrible. And mm. honestly, I feel like that was intentional. Don't ruin it for me. I'm one of these men that might have my childhood ruined by this. Mm. Um, I also feel like trolls on Twitter and in social media in general. Have you ever seen the movie um, The Neverending Story? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. You know the mirror that's like one of the obstacles and you have to look into it to see like your true reflection and only the strongest can survive it? I feel like all Twitter trolls should have to look into that mirror yeah. and see what they're <clears throat> really made of. Just sort of tentacles and bile, I should think, I think, really. I think this guy is in, there's a, there's a pundit in America called Ann Coulter. I guess you would yes. compare it to Katie Hopkins over here. Oh, please don't. Uh, well, I think, you know, he belongs to the sort of, uh, you know, hate for pay sort of career where mm. I think 
he just really excels at saying hateful things, has made a career out of uh, trolling people in the media. Do you think Twitter's exacerbated that? Because it's given a platform to people who <clears throat> didn't have that leverage before, and now some news networks, some media go, hmm, she's a controversial figure, like Katie Hopkins. Has 100,000 like followers. Yeah, yeah, so they must have some Cloud. cachet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there must be some reason to report on this, even though I think um, the thing with Twitter is that it has quite a few times now kind of been the platform for such vicious, horrible abuse, usually directed to usually directed towards women, usually. Um, just this hideous, anonymous abuse coming from hundreds of hundreds of, of different people towards one person. And they haven't really done anything about it. And the, so people have complained. It's been sort of quite famous that, you know, uh, Twitter's terms of service have been violated on numerous occasions, but the users aren't being banned. And Twitter's just kind of ignoring it and saying, freedom of speech. I, I don't but, think Twitter cares anymore because Pokemon Go is bigger than Twitter. Is mm. this already? Yes. Oh, well, there you in, go. In less than two weeks. Celebi, it's 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 the way of the internet now. Well, um, um, no, that's not good enough, actually, because you can't just say, oh, well, you just have to roll with the punches. No, I don't. This woman, Leslie Jones, has been hounded off Twitter by racist, misogynist, horrible hate speech. We can't say, them's the breaks, just deal with it. That's not well, how Well, that it was works. his response. I think it was like, FFS, people get hate mail every day. It's like, well, not tens of thousands mm. of mm. tweets and not, you know... Not to this extent, and also you you don't have to open hate mail, you know. I, I think the sad thing about this story is it's probably not going to be the last that we hear no. of somebody having to leave the platform because of racist, misogynistic abuse. I do think, though, it is a positive step that they actually chucked him off Twitter. I yes. think he had violated three times uh, previously, and so there is kind of good policy in that. You know, it was like, well, that now. was your third strike. Now, see you later. He's out. Yeah. And other people that might be out are NHS patients. The NHS has said that patients could be struck off local GP lists after five years of no contact. In a bid to save money, NHS England has said that the scheme will ensure that the vital funds of £114 per year are not wasted on ghost patients. See? There's links to everything here. <laughs> but GP leaders oppose the scheme, saying that it could mean that key groups, including children and men aged 20 to 45, could lose access to GP care because of list cleansing. The NHS defended the move by saying that the House of Commons and the National Audit Office have drawn attention to the need for accurate patient lists. Now, do we agree with this? Well, was that per practice, £112 per year? £114 per person. Per person. Per year. So this is to try and save money and direct money into the areas that need it the most by saying, you've got somebody on your books that may not exist anymore. They may have left the country. They may have moved to another doctor's. I don't but understand how that, how that balances out to 114 pounds though. Like for what, like just like failed notices or holding no, it's, a place it, it, or? It's what the government give to the NHS surgeries per. I patient. see, okay. So they don't want to give out that money if it's just going to I thought on. it was like two redirected sort of like time to get your pap smear yeah. letters. I was like, that's crazy. But that, I mean, you go and get a smear, you get given a tenner. It's not like that. <laughs> In a sense, you can kind of see where they're coming from because like if you've not been in touch with your GP for five years, there is perhaps a reason for it and it is maybe something that, oh, well, actually, no, I do need to change my doctors mm. or sort of update something. I'm fi you know, five years is a long time, but there are, as has been pointed out in a number of the responses, there are a number of reasons why someone might not be able to within mm. that time frame if they've got you know medical needs or if they're out of the country for a long time or you know serving in the armed forces or whatever it's just maybe sort of slips down the list um and it affects that group of men 20 to 45 that don't like to go to the doctors mm. don't like to talk mm. about their problems and the lack of diagnosis actually creates more problems later down mm, the line further down, yeah. yeah i mean i think there's there's two concerns i have the first one which you were highlighting which is that um a group of people are also saying this is going to create more mm. problems than it's worth so trust those experts and address those issues and the other being that um they're going to do it poorly Anytime you add another bureaucratic step into something, yes. they do it wrong. You well, know it has been given to an outside company. It right? has been given to uh, a private company mm. to and arrange. Th th there's, it's such a misnomer that giving something like that to private enterprise means it's going to be done better. It's so yeah, wrong. It's, yeah. um, 
it's it's going to what could go wrong with personal data given to a third party <laughs> the lowest bidder yeah that's, <laughs> that's yeah, how they got better. the tender they're always the lowest bidder which is why you know they they give the com they offer the government the best deal and then another company says oh well actually because um our employment policy is slightly dodgier we'll give you a better deal and the government's like yeah cool provide our services it sounds a cynical thing but yes it sounds like a good idea but mm. to come out and say third party private enterprise companies doing it it's a purge uh. and we're calling it a cleansing it all it's just like there's a way to do things governments yes. you're not doing it the right way what, what's what's blackwater doing nowadays yeah. uh. <laughs> <laughs> right it's time for another break now so go and make that trip to the smallest room in the house or send that facebook message and we'll see you again in a couple of minutes with news of tax on a uk police and your <gasps> A Labour leadership, but actually no, we're actually talking about Labour policy for once, on tuition fees. It's amazing, that even shocked me. Uh, loads more to come on the Daily Rundown after the break here on Channel 7. I'm not yawning. <laughs> 